Last week, I gave a fire safety presentation, and nobody paid any attention. It's my fault for using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is boring. People learn it a lot of different ways, but I think that experience is the best teacher. Today, I'm doing my colleagues a favor. Does anyone smell anything smoky? Did you bring your jerky in again? <clears throat> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What? Fire! What did we do? <laughs> the phones are dead! Oh no, how did that happen? Oh my, oh my god. god! It's happening! Alright, everybody, stay calm! What's the procedure? Procedure here! Everybody stay calm! Gary, stop, hey! Gary, no, no, Gary, Gary, if it's hot, that could be a fire on the other side. What does warm mean? Okay, not a viable option. What's next? That one, that one! Check that one. It's hot, it's hot. Okay, we gotta move on, we gotta move on. Let's go, let's go. just been informed of a new corporate decision involving the opening of two new district slots for chief marketing officer. This film crew with me today, their job is pretty simple. They're here to decide who among us is the most qualified for these two positions. Before we get any of that started, there's a sign-up sheet that we're supposed to use, but um, I don't really believe in all this corporate ethics, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and send this straight back to the Isn't district. Isn't your office. name already on that? Um, well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to, supposed to put Wait, it on there. Chief marketing officer, that's pretty high up. What's your annual salary going to be? Probably not that much. No, I just looked it up. It starts off at $160,000. No! We get the meat line when meat, everyone please just get away from me. Hi, I'm Gary Schmidt, and I'm kind of the boss around here. I think I'm the most qualified out of everyone for this position. Well, because... I've just been in charge of people ever since I can remember. I think I came out of the womb, you know, just being excellent, being in charge of people and leading. I'm just a natural born leader and I think it's reflected in, in this office because 
all of these people, all of my employees, they just love me. Each and every one of them. Hi, I'm Hunter Jones and I'm the assistant manager here and I think that by far I'm the most qualified for the spot. I'm the most loyal to the boss, unlike the rest of them in there. I've been here the longest and I am the hardest working out of all of them. And that's very evident when you just take a look in that office and I'm the only one always doing work. I think that the rest of them are unworthy of the spot. The rest of them like to goof off all the time and you know, I like to model myself after Gary. I think Gary is a great guy and I think Gary is admirable because he has great posture. He is very serious in a work environment and that's something that I really do. I, I, I think that's an amazing trait to have as a boss and I think that he's a great leader. And frankly, I, I don't think that the rest of them are deserving. Like, like Caleb in there is always messing with me and he's always trying to put stuff on my body and I just, I, I, it gets really frustrating when I'm just trying to do my work and I know he'll be equally considered you know, on the same level. I'm the warehouse manager. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of my secondary job here. I'm on the varsity drum line, so that kind of takes up you know, a good part of my time. But, yeah, so if I were to get this new position, <laughs> you know. mortician so that's really cool um, <clears throat> I broke the law yesterday so that was fun uh, I didn't get caught because I, I work I sleep in a casket mostly um, I have Superman sheets uh, school sheets coffin sheets you name it <laughs> we got it um, also there's this one time I was embalming and uh, I spilled the fluid all over but you know it smells good like I wore it for perfume today and no one talked to me the whole day so you know maybe I'll try another fluid or two I don't, I don't know you know this mortician life Ooh. well my name's Beatrice and I feel like I'm a kind of really nice person I hate hurting people's feelings one time when I elbowed someone in the hallway I spent the whole day looking for them so I could apologize to them I really want the corporate job so I can get away from Tiffany. She really scares me. She likes dead bodies for some reason. I think she's like a really dangerous person and I just don't like being around her. She just really creeps me out. So yeah, that's kind of why I want the job. And she asked me multiple times to like set up a blog for her. So I did, but it's kind of a fake blog, like it's really just a Word document because I just want to like save people from like her thoughts and like her weird ideas like that's just a lot of pain and weirdness so it's just a word document and she just types it I've read some of her entries and they're just like too gross and weird for the internet so I'm glad people don't have to read that well I think I want the corporate job because I just love people um, I feel that I'm pretty agreeable and I I like to interact, I like to help people, to communicate, to really put them before me. Um, oh, sorry, is it okay if I take this? I'm really sorry. Okay. Stop. Kako si glupa ča ma bok ti mater pička materi da jebem ti sun, šta, šta je reka o tebe? Ne, ne! I'm so sorry. What was the question?
I'm Eden. I do gymnastics and cheer and diving, and then I also do orchestra. Um, I really like everyone here, except for Clara. She's the worst. Um, I think I deserve this position because I'm better than everyone else here. And um, with that money, I could buy a lot of cats. So my name's Clara. Um, a few things about me. I'm a fashionista. I love everything fashion. Um, I love pretty much everybody and everything. I don't really like Eden. Um, I love everything except for cats like Eden. Um, don't tell him, but I have a thing for Caleb. He's beautiful. Uh, I get kind of jealous though because him and Nolan kind of have a bromance. And yeah. He seems to like Nolan a little bit more than me. So, gotta get Nolan out of here. Hello, my name is Nolan Smith. I'm Patrick Smith. Um, I'm good with ladies. I'm fashion, well-dressed, loving ladies. Sometimes ladies are beautiful. And also, I'm a Willie really Wild Justin Bieber fan. I love Bieber. He's the best ever. I, I love his music. He's my idol. And now I've got my lovely friend Kayla Bondi. Bondi! My name is Caleb. It's my good buddy Strong with Nolan. One of my best friends ever. So, uh, around here I play football and baseball. I, um, I like to be a leader. I have good leadership. Um, yeah. And my dude Nolan over here. <laughs> Known him since freshman year. You know, base, he's our baseball manager, the best one out there. Never could go wrong. Always puts a smile on your face every day. And he's just the best. Can't go wrong with Nolan Smith over here, right? That's right, Mondi. That's right. <laughs> I mean, why I should get this position? Let's be honest, why shouldn't I? I mean, you've seen the people in there, you've met them, not trying to diss any of them. My best friend Nolan's in there. Um, everyone I, I'm around, I love to work with, besides Hunter. And... I think Clara might be into me, um, but let's be honest, I'm the most capable person for the job. So my name is Derek White, um, so here's the thing, I am an accountant at a failing paper supply company. Um, everyone behind me that you see there, buffoons, I'm the smartest, smartest person in there, intelligent, I'm never wrong, um, I'm a gamer, I'm held to that high standard. Um, I'm always, I'm always on my Switch, always making games, um, yeah, and that's that on that. So, I mean, the other day, uh, I was playing Mario Kart, a real game for real intellectuals like myself, and then Michaela asked if she wanted to play, and I was like, uh, sure, uh, I love some competition. Damn it! Oh my god! You did a good job. It was really good. Yeah. So my name's Michaela. Um, I'm kind of laid back. Like no one really thinks much about what I'd say or anything. But yeah, I play volleyball in the IPS group. It's pretty fun. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty laid back. I don't know. It's fun. But yeah. But I will get that position. That is all mine. I need the money. So, after being voted as the best boss at Sorry. So, so, after being voted as the best boss ever for the 25th consecutive time, I figured it's a, you know, I should give back to the people. So, I took it upon myself to take a tour of LHS to just show everybody how great I really am. After winning my 25th consecutive Dundee in a row, I figured that I, as the boss, owe it to my school to show them what true greatness looks like. Look at that. 
Oh, hey, Dennis. What are you hey, doing here? How's it going? Um, I'm just trying to make a little extra money, you know? Uh, last time I checked, I'm the only job you'll ever need. Why are you like this? Why are you so cocked? Why am I so great? I mean, look at this Dundee. Let's get that out of here, man. My Dundee! Oh! That was stupid. At least I have my Dundee. Can I, can I hold it? No! Alright, everybody. I have with me Mike Jones from Corporate to announce who has been selected as our two chief marketing officers. I reviewed the footage that I've seen and I'm going to tell you who's going to get this position. No one in here is going to get this position. It was so awful, we can't have anyone. I'm going to have to have a vote on Thursday and Friday. Lord help us. Uh, cut! Okay, look, you literally have one job, and that's to hold, <laughs> that's to hold the mic, okay? It, like, it, it's, not, it's not rocket science. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing the best I can. The best you can. The best you can is to literally just to hold it above the camera. Lay it off, you, so Andrew, you don't even do any filming at all. You, don't you have, literally do you nothing. You don't have a job. You, you, write, you, you have no write job a without my story. Pencil, and you do literally without nothing my after that. Oh, okay, let's see. I do let's, all let's, the editing. Let me see. Uh, what, what do you do? Uh, you click a few buttons on a computer, uh, oh, and then who am I? Oh, really? Oh, really? That's not your fault. Oh, my God. You're not even going to get off. No, no. Unbelievable. Three, two, one.